For today's tutorial, we will be going over MIG welding, basics for mild steel. Safety first, before tackling any welding project, you need to make sure you have the proper safety apparel and that any potential fire hazards are removed from the welding area. Basic welding safety apparel includes leather shoes or boots, cuffless full length pants, a flame resistant and long sleeve jacket, safety glasses, and the bandana or skull cap to protect the top of your head from sparks and spatter. Metal prep. Unlike stick and flux covered electrodes, which have higher amounts of special additives, the solid MIG wire does not combat rust, dirt, oil, or other contaminants very well. Use a metal brush or grinder and clean down to bare metal before striking an arc. Make sure your work clamp connects to clean metal too. Any electrical impedance will affect wire feeding performance. To ensure strong welds on thicker metal, bevel the joint to ensure the weld fully penetrates to the base metal. This is especially important for butt joints. Equipment preparation. Check your cables. Before striking an arc, check your welding equipment to make sure all of the cable connections are tight fitting and free of fraying or other damages. Set gas flow. Turn on the shielding gas and set the flow rate to 20 to 25 cubic feet per hour. Voltage and amperage. How much voltage and amperage a weld requires depends on numerous variables, including metal thickness, type of metal, joint configuration, welding position, shielding gas, and wire diameter speed, among many others. Wire stick out. Stick out is the length of unmelted electrode extending from the tip of the contact tube, and it does not include the arc length. Generally, maintain a stick out of 3 8 inch and listen for a sizzling bacon sound. If the arc sounds irregular, one culprit could be that your stick out is too long, which is an extremely common error. Push or pull. The push or forehand technique involves pushing the gun away from, ahead of, the weld puddle. Pushing usually produces lower penetration and a wider, flatter bead because the arc force is directed away from the weld puddle. With the drag or backhand technique, also called the pull or trailing technique, the welding gun is pointed back at the weld puddle and dragged away from the deposited metal. Dragging typically produces deeper penetration and a narrower bead with more buildup. When MIG welding mild steel, you can use either the push or pull technique. But note that pushing usually offers a better view and enables you to better direct wire into the joint. Travel angle. Travel angle is defined as the angle relative to the gun in a perpendicular position. Normal welding conditions in all positions call for a travel angle of 5 to 15 degrees. Travel angles beyond 20 to 25 degrees can lead to more spatter, less penetration, and general arc instability. Work angle. Work angle is the gun position relative to the angle of the welding joint, and it varies with each welding position and joint configuration. Horizontal position. Because of the effects of gravity, the gun work angle must be dropped slightly by zero to 15 degrees. Without changing the work angle, the filler metal may sag or roll over on the bottom side of the weld joint. The travel angle, whether using a push or a drag technique, generally remains the same as for a weld joint in the flat position. Vertical positions. Vertical welding, both up and down, can be difficult. This makes pre-weld setup very important for making high quality welds. Since you are fighting gravity, consider reducing the voltage and amperage 10 to 15% from the settings for the same weld in the flat position. When welding vertical down, begin at the top of a joint and weld down. The vertical down technique helps when welding thin metals because the arc penetrates less due to the faster travel speed. Overhead position. Drag, push, or perpendicular gun techniques can be used for welding overhead. But because of gravity, travel speeds must be fast enough so that the weld metal does not fall out of the joint. Also for this reason, weave beads should not be too wide. Lowering the voltage and amperage help keep the weld puddle small and more controllable, which is why you might want to consider using a smaller diameter wire. Most people can create good looking, high quality MIG welds with a combination of practice and following the techniques discussed.